morning. Good morning. Okay, what um, what movie was that from? Good morning, good morning. Remember it was Debbie Reynolds and, what's that singing in the rain? Yes, yeah, Debbie Reynolds, Gene Kelly. Yes, yes, that was excellent. Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the city of Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida. And it is a joy for us to be together on this fourth Sunday in the season of Easter. And always on the fourth Sunday, it is what we call Good Shepherd um, Sunday. So what a good shepherd we had here. For those of you who are worshiping with us from afar, we did have a tornado warning come through here about an hour and a half ago, I would say. So things have settled out for now and should be really great for this afternoon when we have our concert. Today, on this day, we celebrate the sixth anniversary of Living Faith Church, officially um, organizing a as a congregation in the ELCA, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. How awesome is that? That was the original charter that was signed. And so we have a cake. Thank you um, to everyone who um, uh, focused on bringing that cake in today through the weather, through the foul weather. It's so great um, in the back. And, and also uh, we had leftover mugs. No, they're not leftover over like they've been used okay that's not what we mean but we had gotten mugs for everyone who had signed the charter document to organize and so we have mugs here that was our original well no actually that was not our original logo our original logo was a very it was a, a like a baby leaf outline and then we grew into this logo I'm not sure if you can see it, which, which was a leaf. And now we've grown into uh, a new logo that you see with the cross and LFC as a, that's just my um, timer to remind me to get started, um, a full uh, congregation in the ELCA. So today we celebrate that day, six days, oh, six, six days, six years um, that together we've been doing that God's work here in this community. And actually we've been doing God's work here in this community for 10 years, but we'll talk a little bit about that um, during sermon time. So please make sure the mugs have been washed. You are welcome to use them for coffee and you are welcome to take them with you. Yes, please do. Yeah. So Sunday, May the 14th, that is two Sundays from today, uh, we will be, it's Mother's Day, and on that day, which is May the 14th, our worship will start one hour earlier at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. For those of you who are heading north, that would be 8 a.m. for our Central Time people. <laughs> and uh, Pacific Timers, that would be 7 a.m., and bless you for those who are three hours away, and that will be 6 a.m. Here's the great news. Everything is recorded for you, so hopefully you'll be able to join us. But for those who are physically present for our worship, that will be 9 a.m. Eastern time that we'll meet here, two Sundays from today. Next, we have our concert today. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, Mariano, are you guys all set? Yeah. So here's what Mariano said. I said, Mar Mariano, how are you doing? He was like, I'm nervous. I was like, you're nervous? He said, oh, I'm not nervous about the performance. I'm nervous about everything else. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. We got the other covered as long as uh, you are not nervous about the performance. It is so exciting. Uh, the doors will open at 5 a.m. <laughs> This, thank you. Where was my coffee? I think I'm still on the going back an hour. 
5 p.m. Uh, today at Emanuel Lutheran Church, which is located in Palm City. It's right, you can see it right there on, I think it's uh, Martin Downs Boulevard. And that'll be 5 p.m. Doors open for a little pre pre-cocktail, <laughs> pre-concert reception. Yes, there will be some cocktails. And um, then 5.30, uh, the concert will start. So uh, the suggested donation is $25. And um, listen, just come, come and enjoy the concert. If you're not able to, you know, just come. That is the most important thing as we celebrate our Lord in the, in the beautiful gifts that each one of these performers have been given. Um, so I don't know, is there anything else I could possibly say? Every dollar that we do receive towards this is matched up to $10,000. How phenomenal is that? We have a donor who stepped forward and said, for every dollar, we'll match up to 10,000. So that's absolutely awesome. Just come. What, did somebody say something? Okay, no. That's it. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Um, there's a survey that went around and Pastor Marjorie will be uh, preaching for three consecutive weeks while Carl and I head out. She'll begin to preach on May the 21st. We are finally going to be able to do this riverboat cruise that we have booked six years ago. So yeah, exactly. Right. So originally it was 2020. We were supposed to go COVID. 2021 COVID. 2022, we had a death in the family. 2023, Yes, we're going. So Pastor Marjorie um, is going to let you select the topic that you would like for her to preach on. I've run out of paper surveys, so I will have some more next week. And um, pretty much what you do, she's looking at Christian cliches that everybody says, but then can be taken out of context. And so you get to pick which of the three you would like to hear. And then the, the top um, three are the ones that she will preach on. So uh, make sure your voice is heard. And now the only other thing is, I know just when I think I'm done, um, music. So for those of you who are worshiping from afar, we have been struggling with how to get our music so that it's not as choppy as you've been hearing. So today uh, we still don't have it fully fixed. So you will hear the voices of our um, of our singers, you will not hear the accompaniment. So I just want to let you know um, that for today, I know, I'm sorry, Mariano, they can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we will, we, you know, by gosh, you know, we're going to figure out what's going on because for the, it worked for a very long time and Zoom has been working with us on how to figure out what's happening here. So on that note, let us begin our time together in worship. I invite you to stand as you're able. Everybody oh. can stand. We oh. like to, there's more. There's something else here. Good morning from council. I hope you can hear me. Is this microphone on? So good morning. And, and um, in addition to our anniversary of the organization of Living Faith Church, May 2nd is the anniversary, the 10th anniversary for Pastor Marianne's ordination. And we were... So our cake... So our, our cake folks trying to juggle those. Okay, there we go. So we are. We uh, recently found, uh, we're reminded of this, so we wanted to let everybody know, of course, and we know that you want to participate in congratulating Pastor for her 10 year anniversary of her ordina ordination. So the happy anniversary cake is kind of ambiguous because we have a couple of things going on. So thank you, thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Here's, well, I'll put this here. Thank you. Whoops, I'm hooked. All right, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, thank you. Um,
Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be your pastor. Thank you. Are you ready to get head back? Yeah. Okay. I'm get down. She wants to get down. Thank you. Thanks so much. Oh. I invite you to stand as you're able. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Sisters and brothers, siblings in Christ, let us gather together with glad and generous hearts. For many signs and wonders are being done among us. Let us break bread together and share our lives in common. Let us give what we can to all who have needs so that all people, no matter who they are, may regard us with goodwill. Let us devote ourselves to our prayers and to the gospel. For in this way, God will add to our numbers every day. We always begin our time together with confession. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who gathers us in the wilderness to redeem us, anoint us, and make us new. Amen. Amen. Friends, inasmuch as God is our shepherd, let us not fear, but confess our sin that God may restore our souls. Holy One, we confess to you and to one another that we have not always followed Christ's example. When we have been abused, we have been abusive in return. We have gone astray. Let us back into your fold and guard our souls in Jesus' name. Amen. Now hear the glorious news. Christ comes with healing light into our locked places and shadowy hurts, resurrecting our spirits and breathing into us new life. God's mercy overflows as a healing spring to cleanse us of our offenses. In the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God has forgiven you all your sins. Receive new life in Christ. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission for the day Visions of rapture first on my side. Angels descending, green from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior, day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect suspicion, all is at rest. I am my Savior, happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. 
Veiled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior all the day long. Am I on? How about now? Yeah, okay. So was I on singing? No, good, okay. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> we need to hear our musicians sing. Yes, they can't hear you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Oh God, our shepherd, you know your sheep by name and lead us to safety through the valley of death. Guide us by your voice that we may walk in certainty and security to the joyous feast prepared in your house through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we have a reading this morning before our gospel, which is from the book of Acts chapter 2. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and all had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the needs to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their numbers those who were being saved. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. And now our gospel is the gospel according to John, the 10th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus is speaking. I tell you the truth. Anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. After he has gathered his own flock, he walks ahead of them and they follow him because they know his voice. They won't follow a stranger. They will run from him because they don't know his voice. Those who heard Jesus use this illustration didn't understand what Jesus meant. So Jesus explained it to them. I tell you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the true sheep did not listen to them. Yes, I am the gate. Those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise, the glories of my God and King, 
the triumphs of his grace. My gracious master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of thy name. So come on and sing out, let our anthem grow loud. There is one great love, Jesus. Jesus, the name that charms our fears, that birds of sorrow sees, his music in the sinner's ears. Tis life and health and peace. He breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood availed for me. So come on and sing out. Let our anthem grow loud. There is one great love. There is one great love, Jesus, Jesus. He speaks and listening to his voice, new life the dead receive. The mournful broken hearts rejoice, the humble poor believe. Glory to God and praise and love be ever, ever given by saints below and saints above, the church in earth and heaven. So come on and sing out, let our anthems grow. There is one great love. There is one great love there is one great love jesus jesus amen i heard that amen from back there amen it's time for the children's message you coming up? We're going to learn a song today. Oh. How are you? Jane, you can look at me. Do you know this song? I'm going to teach you a song. We heard today. By the way, how are you today? Good. Yeah. Did you have some food? Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Good. I'm so glad. I can't wait to have my peace. If I had my peace, I would be like flying and buzzing around here because sugar makes me crazy. Does sugar make you crazy? Yeah. Was that a yes or a no? No, it doesn't. Okay. Sugar does not make her crazy. Yeah. That's not what mommy's saying. I'm just teasing you. When Jaden came in, she came flying in here. She was so happy to be here, right? Because it's, this is where we gather as Jesus people, right? Jesus people are everywhere. You know that? It's just that some people don't know that. We have to tell them that. And so have you ever seen a sheep before? They're like woolly and they're white and they can, they can um, have all different colors too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they moo? They don't move. Those, those are cows. You know what moves? A cow. Sheep go like this. Bah. Yeah. Bah. That's what a sheep does. Bah. I'm going to teach you a song. Did you know that you're like a sheep with Jesus? You are one of his followers. You're one of his little lambs. Mm -hmm. So... I am going to teach you a song. Ready for this song? You might know it. It goes like this. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray my Lord, my soul to keep 
I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. Can you sing that? Okay, but you have to do the hand signal. So you have to look at me. So turn your body. Turn. I'm going to turn you. Oh. Okay, ready? No, face me. Okay, ready? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. Who knows that song out there? I have to tell you something. The kids, when we go to camp, they love this song. I don't care what age you are. They love this song. And then it goes like this. I don't want to be a Pharisee. What? I don't want to be a Pharisee. Why not? Because they're not fair, you see. Oh, I don't want to be a Pharisee. What do you want to be? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to be a Sadducee. A what? I don't want to be a Sadducee. Why not? Because they're so sad, you see. Oh, I don't want to be a sad, you see. What do you want to be? I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. And I pray the Lord my soul to keep. I just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. Excellent. Yeah. Hey. All right, now you have a new song that you can sing. Isn't that an awesome one? Right, Mommy? Daddy? Yeah, yeah. So let's say a prayer together. Shall we pray? How do you fold your hands? Do you put your hands like this? Jane, do you put them like this? Do you put them like this? How do you? Yeah, that's what I do. I like to feel the presence of Jesus. You do your hands. Yeah, right. Okay. Jesus, thank you for calling me as your sheep your little one, your little lamb. Continue to watch over us, me, Jaden, everybody here. Keep us in your fold and help us to continue to hear your voice wherever we go because you know our name. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm going to help you up. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, you can head back. I invite you to stand as you're able. Our God, our God has prepared a table before us and our cup overflows. So let us give generously from our common wealth as our way of praising God and giving to those in need. Okay, now you may be seated. I bet you didn't think you'd get this much exercise this morning. And um, this is our time where we make our offering to our Lord. I want to thank all of you um, who have trusted in the work that we do here at Living Faith um, as your stewardship comes into us so that we can continue as God's people to continue to do what we're called to do in the ministry that we're called to do. For those of you who make your um, offerings online, you can do so now uh, by going to lfc.church. For those of you who have already done that, thank you so very much. And also for those of you who make your offering in person, you can come forward and do so now. And now we have Liz freshly back from Italy. <laughs> Rested? Yes. As she gives us her offering, um, she shares with us her offering to the Lord in song. In the process in the waiting 
You're making melodies over me. And your presence is the promise. For I am a pilgrim on a journey. You will lift my head above the mighty waves. You are able to keep me from stumbling. And in my weakness, you are the strength that comes from within. Good shepherd of my soul. Take my hand and lead me on. You make my footsteps and my path secure. So walking on water is just the beginning. Cause my faith to rise, stand at attention. For you are calling me to greater things. You will lift my head above the mighty way. You are able to keep me from stumbling. And in my weakness, you are the strength that rises from within, good shepherd of my soul. Take my hand and lead me on. Oh, how I love you, how I love you, you have not forsaken. Oh, how you, how you, you, that's where I want to be. Oh, you never leave me, no. You never leave me, no. In every goodness of my soul. You'll never leave me, no. You'll never leave me, no. In every season of my soul. Such a beautiful offering. I invite you to stand as you're able. Holy and generous God, you have anointed us and we are yours. Bless these tithes and offerings that they may become green pastures and still waters for any and all who need your comfort and restoration. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. In great love, you sent to us Jesus, your son, who reached out to heal the sick and suffering, who preached good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup. He gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink, saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this, the remembrance of me.
As children of God, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ, risen from the dead, Jesus Christ, gives everyone a place at the welcome table. Alleluia, come to the feast. Amen. You may be seated. I was helped this morning, as you could see, in setting the table. This is the Lord's table, and everyone is invited to come forward to taste the grace, the promise that is given in the body and blood of our Lord, in the bread and the wine. It is here that we can taste what is to come. We gather around this for a foretaste of the feast, and we gather with those who already seated at the full banquet table, enjoying the feast. So come forward and receive this gift, for it is for you. Um, I'd like to invite the communion assistants to come forward at this time. <clears throat> the ushers will guide you forward, and as they guide you forward, you'll be invited to um, have the bread, and then we do in tincture here, and you can dip that into either chalice wood, which contains wine. For those of you ha who have any type of an alcohol allerg uh, allergy, you are welcome to have the grape juice, which are in the cups. And in addition, if you have a gluten intolerance, then we also have a gluten-free uh, wafer for you. Just let your communion assistant know what's best for you, your communion server. Come, this is the Lord's table and all are welcome. I'd like to invite the musicians to come forward at this time with any family members that might be with them. I heard a thousand stories of what they think your life, but I heard the tender whisper of love in the dead of night, and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone. You're a good, good father. To you are, to you are, to you are. By you, it's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. I've seen 
Merely searching for answers far and wide, but I know we're all searching for answers. Only you provide because you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. So you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm not by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To who are love so undeniable? I I can hardly speak. Peace so unexplainable i i can hardly think as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still is your love love you're a good good father to me you are it's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm not by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm not by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. And I've heard the tender whisper of love in the depth of night. I invite you to stand as you're able. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Now you may be seated. And you know what time it is? Jalen, you know what time it is? You know what? It's Sunday school. Are you ready for Sunday school? Yeah. Oh, Miss the Divine Miss M is here. Yes. Here goes Miss Emily. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to go? Bye. Have fun. And I can't wait to hear everything that you learned. There she goes. Please pray with me. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. This being our sixth anniversary of organizing 10 years and doing God's work here in the community, it's a wonderful time for us to take a look back because we're always looking forward. So let's take a look back at what we have been doing. Sometimes you've just got to look back at your past and smile at how far you've come. That's what we're going to do today.
it all started here. Here was uh, the last photo taken of me at my internship site. The very funny thing is I still have that jacket <laughs> 10 years ago. And I did my internship at Spirit of Grace Lutheran Church over on the uh, Gulf Coast of Florida. And so from there, that was April of 2013, I went from there to ordination, which was on May 2nd, which I thought I was telling you something new. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. And that was actually at our synod assembly. And that's where uh, mission developers, those that are going to go out and begin new congregations, that's where they're ordained because they don't have a congregation that they're going to, which is normally where ordination would happen. So uh, that was my ordination day um, 10 years ago. And that was our bishop at the time. And then we um, came over here to tradition. There was a start, a mission development that had started, I want to say, I think 2007, 8-ish. And in about, about 2010, 11-ish, it had um, shut down. It just, it was a difficult time. And so they had just sort of put it on hold, as they say, and that mission developer had um, gone forward to do to take another call. Uh, so that was the original property that was owned by the Mission Investment Fund, and it was on the corner of Community Boulevard and Rowley Way. Needless to say, well, I shouldn't, I'm jumping ahead of myself, sorry. So that's where the original property was for um, Living Waters Lutheran Church. Well, when we started, it began to be a whole new start all over again. And so our name is Living Faith, our very first faith and fitness walk. So one of the things we say, you know, God is out there everywhere. You know, the earth is God's house. So we keep forgetting that, don't we? The earth is God's house. All of nature celebrates the Lord. And so we recognize the fact we need to go out where God is. So we began our very first faith and fitness walk. July of 2013 at the Tradition Gazebo. And there were two of us that were there. I was there and my husband, Carl, was there. <laughs> so there I am doing the devotion <laughs> with Carl standing in front of me. And then the following week, we started to grow. I don't know if you can recognize us right there, but that would be Pat and Marlene who came to our second uh, devotion. So we were on our way. One of the things when we understand that God is out there in the community, well, if you're in tradition, one of the tough things is everything is gated. I live in probably one of the only non-gated communities in tradition, which is Bedford Park, and that was done intentionally. Um, and so how do you get behind the gates. I mean, God's there. You can't keep God out. So we have to get in there. And so we had an ice cream social. So first place we did it was at the Brenity. And then we went to each one of the communities and had an ice cream social there. And the purpose was just to say, hey, you know, it, you know, welcome. We want to share God's love with you and just make you aware that we are here. Now, Needless to say, some of the communities allowed us in and some of the communities did not allow us in. So if you attended one of these way back when, your community allowed us in. <laughs> the other thing I had done was door knocking. Who knocks on doors anymore these days? Well, the only place I was really able to do it was Bedford Park. And so that was actually very fun. Although a couple of times, you know, when you get the door shut in your face a few times, it's a little hard. Carl had to throw me out the door and say, go. <laughs> then we started in October of 2013. We started to have a family, faith and family night at the Bedford Park Clubhouse. So again, it's a, it was an um, open in area where um, you did not need, it was in, like you had to get through the gates to get there. So that was really great. We had the opportunity for um, the family to come together so that we could do Bible studies and um, share our faith and the kids could grow with God. That is one of, one of our earlier uh, leaders, uh, Jeannie Boyle, who is there. She is now seated at the full banquet table. 
So thanks. So November of 2013, we had probably eight of us at that time, maybe 10. And I said, oh, we got to do this, you know, stuff the, uh, stuff the turkey. So there were lots of turkeys that were being given out, but there was no stuffing. And so um, we, I committed, <laughs> I committed us to 80, fulfilling 80 um, stuffings for the turkey. So it was like cranberry sauce, you know, all the, all the fixings. That's what it was. And everyone was like, there's no way I can't do 10 myself. I was like, nobody asked you to do 10. We need to get out there. Well, we had well over 100 bags that we stuffed. And there we were uh, gathered together to stuff, um, to put all the fixings together. And it, the outreach was absolutely amazing. We had our very first Christmas Eve worship service at Tradition Town Hall, and that was December 2013. I just have to point this out. See that Christmas tree over there? Well, little did I know that you're not allowed to have live trees in a public facility. Did anybody know that in Fort St. Lucie? You can't. What did I know? I went to the florist who had this beautiful tree, and I said, hey, what are you going to do with that tree? And they said, I don't know. I said, well, can I use it for Christmas Eve? Because they were closing. So not only did uh, we drag the tree down <laughs> to the town hall, the entire family from that florist worshiped with us that evening, which was absolutely wonderful and became an active part of the community. Our first Easter worship was at Tradition Town Hall in April of 2014. And our worship continued. From there, we had our very first baptism, June of 2014. And this is the family that had the florist shop. Yes, yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Then we started weekly service at Tradition Town Hall. The developer at the time said, yes, you can rent the town hall. And that took a little negotiation, but we were able to do it. And so August 17, 2014, we had our very first worship service. We had in-home Bible study at that time also. And so this is just uh, at my house. This uh, didn't begin March of 2015, but this is just a picture from March of 2015. So here we were able to gather and study scripture together in my home. <laughs> We had our very first blessing of the pet, October 2015. And notice we had a canine. So when that canine came out, all the other dogs just sat like at attention. They knew the alpha dog had arrived. And uh, it was really fun because I had the opportunity to bless the officer along with the canine. And um, he said, let me just give the dog the command so he doesn't rip your arm off when you go to touch me or you to go to touch the dog. I said, thank you. I very much appreciate that. <laughs> two of our women, uh, two of our ladies, um, Brenda, who is now also um, seated at the banquet table with our Lord and Pat had come to me and said, you know, we like to start a ministry. Um, we like to crochet. We like to knit. We like to do all these things. We like to do blankets for those who are in hospice, for those who are, it is now expanded to be for children who are in crisis and also for those who, um, oh my gosh, oh, for those who are undergoing chemo. And so our ministry began and grew. Notice it wasn't the pastor who came up with this idea. It was the people, their passion. We worked with the Bridge Christian Outreach Food Pantry, um, gosh, twice a month um, while they were um, helping to feed those who were food insecure in the, um, in the Martin County area, but many came from St. Lucie County also. So we worked with them on that ministry um, until that had, um, had run its course, you know, like there's a, there's a birth and there's a death and there's resurrection elsewhere. And so we worked with them while they were um, partaking in this ministry. Love and Hope in Action, La Haya, 
that is an organization located in Stewart, and they help and feed um, their ministry for the homeless. So we do a lot of partnering with Lahaya. Notice, we're already out there looking to see what is God doing out there? And then we join in with those who are doing it. Then officially we organized April, 2017. And that was an exciting day where uh, members who were worshiping with us and wanted to become a member of the congregation um, signed the official charter. And at that, on that day, uh, the first annual meeting was held. It was the organizational meeting. And at, on that day is when the congregation uh, called me to be the first pastor and what a blessing it has been. And I thank you for that call. Well, you know, riding high, you know that song? Riding high in April, shot down in May. That's life. Well, we had a great April 30th. A few days later, we find out that the town hall was sold because basically there was a, a fire sale, as you would say. And the uh, bank who, uh, the, the, the developer had gone under, the bank took it over and was ready to sell it to the current developer. But there were certain things that they wanted to get rid of. The town hall was one of them. So needless to say, we had our farewell service um, in August of 20, something about August, right? And the fact that, um, worship started, then we moved from there to a new location. So with the cross, we had our farewell service and the cross, I held it and we drove from tradition to um, St. Lucie West. And it was the Hussar family that called me, Andrew, and said, where are you going to go? And I said, I have no idea. I'm in shock that the town hall was sold. And he said, you're coming to us. How wonderful was that? You're coming to us. Karen will we'll get in touch with you. So that's when we started worshiping over at the Marriott at Spring Hill Suites. And the cross, you had to see the procession because I was in a convertible with the cross <laughs> heading to our new location where we stood outside, we said a blessing, and then we went inside. Yes. And then Karen and Andrew came and said, I want to tell you something. Again, August of. 2018. I want to tell you something exciting. We just bought the building at the trail um, golf uh, facility, and we would like for you to come with us. And we said, absolutely, we will. And so the, here we are. We had our first worship here in August of 2018. We had our capital campaign, which kicked off in 2019. And um, what, oh my gosh, we were incredibly blessed that there was an opportunity for a donor who had stepped forward and said that we will <clears throat> give you $370,000, but it was a match dollar for, for dollar. <clears throat> and so we were on it. And we actually not only matched it, but we exceeded it. So we had 500,000 was our goal was 370 and 360, 370. And we came in at 500,000, which is absolutely amazing. And with that 370, we were able to purchase our new property. Yes, significantly less expensive. It's at Tradition Parkway, much better uh, location. And so with that, in October of 2019, we were able to purchase that land. Now this all sounds so easy, doesn't it? For any of you who have been here through this whole thing, there was nothing easy about it was there. But this is our story. This is our story. And so from there, <clears throat> let's see what happened next. Oh, someone came to me and said, you know, we really need to be sort of good stewards of property we have in tradition and thinking that maybe, you know, we could adopt a street. And adopt program 
adopted, I think it was first three miles of highway um, along um, Village Parkway, and then an additional two after that on Tradition Parkway. So now there's five miles of roadway that is cleaned every month through LFC at work at work in the community. They're like little bees going out in their golf carts, right? <laughs> Dropping everyone off. And when um, the ministry of the bridge had um, ceased to exist, Denise came and said, I wanna take over because she was working um, with diaper aid um, and really sort of took it over there. And she said, we'd really, I'd like to bring that over here and to living faith can we take it on and the bridge said absolutely you can take that ministry on and so there we are again someone's passion not the pastor but the people and so here we have the um, living faith diaper aid program and this is a picture i don't think this is april 2020 because something tells me you guys were masked up then so i'm going to say might have been a little earlier than but just gives you a sense of uh, the diaper aid ministry that we do in Jensen Beach. COVID-19, oh, wasn't that so wonderful? Yeah, kind of messed things up a little bit for us as far as us being able to actually um, start the project of building uh, the physical facility that kind of put everything on hold because prices went up. But there was still lots of ministry that we we're still able to do during that time. So the next ministry, Stuffing the Sock, here's a picture of 2021. We partnered, first we partnered with the um, St. Lucie County Fire Department. And then um, we went and partnered with uh, the Guardian Ad Litem. Again, passion of one of our members that turned into a ministry, which is absolutely fabulous. So this year we were able to distribute 700 Christmas stockings to every guardian at Lightham Children in Cir Child in Circuit 19. Last year, Pride Fest, May of 2022. God is everywhere. God is everywhere. And we need to let everyone know they are a beloved child of God. And so the mere fact that we were trusted to be able to come in to, you know, Pride Fest and that we were trusted, that we were just going to say, we know you're a child of God and beloved. We want you to wear this pin that says, beloved child of God, so that others recognize and see the face of God in you. And it was just such a wonderful day, nothing but pure love on that day. And then this past time we were here, uh, another couple of looking back, sorry, we partnered not only, um, we partnered with the St. Lucie School District, St. Lucie County School District to provide underwear for the children um, who are homeless and attending school. Hibiscus food, uh, their, their food pantry, they have um, supporting families in crisis. We have provided food. We provided flip-flops for the children's children who are on hibiscus. We also um, have uh, partnered now with um, the Children's Advocacy Center. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Guess what? We did all of this together. Our music ministry is amazing. One of the things, so remember what I said was, what we do is we go out and we listen for what the needs are in the community. And if the need is already being met, we're not going to reinvent it. We join in with that ministry. God's already at work there. And when we see need isn't, that's when we start to develop something. So, you know, there's a need, a need that isn't met on in tradition. That is a place that isn't behind a gate, but is available for the entire community to be able to come and um, watch concerts, children, the Performing Arts Center. So that's what we're looking at. Living Faith will worship at this facility. Of course, Living Faith will have the facility. This is a facility that we'll use on Sundays and other days. 
but all the other days, it's really going to be a cultural performing arts center because that's lacking. It's not in the schools anymore. Art is not as prominent in the schools. A lot of it's optional. Music, not as prominent in the schools. It's optional. And so here we have this opportunity to allow um, people in our community and children to use the gifts that have been given to them in the performing arts, worshiping arts, um, the uh, fine arts. There's just so much writing clubs, you know, speakers coming in, a place where um, God's children can fully be um, uh, enriched and learn and grow in the talents that they have been given. And that's a piece of what our concert is for this afternoon. So. We took a look back, but with an eye of looking forward. So our goal is always to continue to proclaim Christ alive in the world today and making a difference, to continue to point out the places where the Holy Spirit is active, to participate where there is need and to develop when there is a need that hasn't been met. That's who we are as God's people. And I want to thank you for these past 10 years have been, I'm not gonna say every step of the way has been filled with incredible joy, happy joy, but down in my heart, joy. Because together we get, we get, to do this work, the most important work that you probably ever do in your life is proclaiming God's word, but more than proclaiming, being God's hands and feet in the community. Amen. I invite you to stand as you're able. Shepherd in God, in a dangerous world, let us hear your voice and come and go through your gate. We pray for the whole church, that we may devote, be devoted to your word and to universal fellowship, being generous to all who have need. We pray for the earth, for green pastures and still waters that we may restore them to the goodness and purity that they had at the time you created them. We pray for the people of the world, their nations and leaders, that your wisdom and peace may govern all so that no one will fear. We pray for all those in need, those in want, those ill and dying, especially those we name in our hearts are out loud before you now. Frank, Peter, Frank, Joy, Marilyn, Valerie, Ludmilla, Olga, Constantine, Laura, Tyler, Kristen, Jennifer, Rocco, Clyde, Al, Ingrid, Robin, Madeline, Tom, Don, Giovanni, Audrey, Steve, Anita, Joy, Luna, Dominic. We pray that we may be the banquet that you set before them as we anoint them, feed them, and comfort them in your name. We pray for this congregation, our families, and those we love. May no one live in fear. May all dwell in your presence. We pray for those who have gone before us and now dwell in your full presence. May their lives of faith guide us in our days here on earth. And may we one day join them in your full presence at the everlasting banquet feast. Blessed are you, great shepherd who through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit gives us goodness and mercy, leads us down right paths and restores our souls. Amen. You may be seated.
You know, this is the time of year when our snowbirds head back. I don't like this time of year. I'm just going to tell you that. So for the next few weeks, um, we have been doing sending blessings. And for those of you who are worshiping here with us physically today, but are heading up somewhere or over or wherever, you're invited to come forward at this time for your blessing, those of you who are heading out. Oy, oy, oy. I know, right? Who said, aw? Yeah. I know you're happy to be reunited with your family. I know that, but you know, we're going to miss you. We are so going to miss you. You're heading back up to Minnesota. And then Mother's Day weekend, you get to, uh, you, you guys go up early to prepare and open the cabin on the lake Saturday. And then Sue gets to come and it's all open for you. On, that's your, oh, what a wonderful gift. Great Mother's Day gift. So we are going to miss you. Um, we um, ask that our Lord Jesus Christ just watch over you, guide you surround your car with angels to deliver you back up north safely and that over the summer that you may just have a, a thrive thriving time with your family one in which the richness of our lord pours over you both and your entire family new memories and new celebrations of the way our lord is working in in your midst and then, gracious Lord God, we ask that you return them to their home here in Florida uh, when the time is, is right. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Oh, bless you. Keep you. Return you safely to us. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you and return you safely to us, sir. Amen. And now I invite you to stand as you're able. May the God who calls us by name lead you out to green pastures and lead you to the safety of Christ's fold. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. You can stay standing for this one. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, oh, we'll see how great it is. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great is our God. How great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Woo! So we are called to go out, to go out from this place with joy and tell the good news. Jesus Christ is risen and new life is given. Let us go forth together, living our faith knowing that everywhere we go, everyone we meet, everything we do, we are Christ's hands and feet. So let's go. And I will see you tonight at five.